Like many RVs these days, our fifth wheel came prepped for a second TV in the bedroom, but it did not come that way from the factory. So in this video, I'm going to install a small TV on the wall in this location. And the TV that I'm going to be installing is this Insignia 19-inch LED TV. Two reasons I picked this TV, three reasons really. Number one, it was under $100. Uh, number two is... I can't get a very big TV in that spot and clear the door, so 19 inch was fine for me. Number three is this TV actually has a signal strength meter on it, and the antenna rotation is right there where the TV is, so I can rotate the antenna to the strongest signal. Now with analog TVs, you know, you used to be able to rotate the antenna until you got the best picture and you didn't get no snow. Well, you can't do that with digital TVs because you either have a signal, which is high quality, or you don't. You can't tell if you're an optimum signal or not. So it's important for tuning an antenna to have a TV that does have a signal strength meter on it. And this one does. Now, the mounting options, uh, I'm going to go a little bit different route. I'm going to use a company called Ram. And they make some very, very nice heavy-duty mounts made in the USA. They're, they're really beefy mounts, much better than anything you're going to find at the TV store. And they're not cheap. The mount has cost me over $100, but, you know, a, a good quality made in China mount is going to cost you that anyway. Now, the thing about the RAM mounts is that you can buy the components a la carte. So you can buy whatever you need to do the project. So the first component that I bought was a Visa adapter for the TV. And this is uh, part number RAM 246. By the way, as I always do on these projects, on my webpage, I'm going to have a little more details and I'm going to have, you know, where you can get the parts, um, the part numbers and things like that. But this is the first part. This is a Visa mount. The RAM mounts use a ball system like this. And they have various sizes. And this is a 1.5 inch C-sized mount and it can handle 10 pounds of weight. I think that's fairly conservative because I think these are going to handle a whole lot more than that. But anyway, this TV is nowhere near 10 pounds. It's maybe 2 pounds at the most. So this part actually fits on the TV. This is a Visa hole pattern. All TVs should have, in the modern era, should have a mounting either a 75 or 100 millimeter hole pattern, which this will fit. Okay, and to attach to that, I got a RAM VB110-5, which is this. And they have a couple different styles. Uh, they have this one, and they have a very similar one that looks like this. The only difference is, this one doesn't adjust the full range because you can only go up and down. You can't go side to side very well. Where this one, uh, when you loosen this, you have a 360 degree turning radius here. So the way this works, this ball fits on there and it's kind of a rubberized ball. And then when you tighten it down, the thing, uh, you can place it really anywhere in its rotation. So that's the first part. The second part I consider optional, and this is a RAM 109-1, and it's just a swing arm. Now, I may or may not use this. Uh, I actually had this left over from another project, believe it or not. We've assembled it this far, and the TV mounts here. And the last component, RAM D162, which is the wall mount. This mounts to the wall, like that. So basically what we want to do here is turn it sideways. So this is how it would mount to the wall. In fact, you can actually turn this over like that. So this ram part here mounts to the wall and that is going to just stick out a very minimal amount. And, I mean, when you tighten these down, 
there is no way that this is going to move at all. I mean, it's just going to be there permanently. I mean, it's not going to flop around like the other ones do. You're not going to need bungee cords or any of that kind of malarkey. So I've elected to go with just a single swing arm. And this thing uh, weighs about 7 pounds. And I think it will give us plenty of room to uh, maneuver the TV. Now one thing I'm finding odd is that it says TV backer location. So you would think you'd mount the TV there. But I've got my uh, nice uh, stud finder. And if I look through here, it actually shows something far different. Now I'm not really all sure how accurate this is, but that looks like about where everything is. So I'm going to just drill a small hole, as small as holes I can make it, and just see uh, what it looks like behind it. Well, for what it's worth, I got the bracket in. And even when I drilled through the holes there, it just didn't seem like it was that thick. However, I drilled a hole where the TV backer location was stickered on, and it seemed even thinner. So definitely there's nothing behind that TV backer location. I don't know how accurate they are when they put the stickers in. Probably, you know, everything RV is crap, you know, so who knows. Okay, so now we're going to finish... Uh, connecting the TV. So we have the whole thing hooked up. We have the bracket on the wall. We have the swing arm uh, connected. Power's on. So let's see if we get any reception. And I found out how you can display the signal strength. So this will aid in actually aiming the antenna because this is a directional antenna. And since the antenna control is right there, you've got an easy way to uh, tell when it's uh, the strongest signal. And now we're in the stowage position for travel, where it goes up right next to the wall. 